Subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. October 15th marked exactly three years since Jawaharlal Nehru University student Najib Ahmed went missing from his hostel. While the entire law and order machinery seems to have given up on any hope of finding Najib, his mother Fatima Nafis continues to fight for her son. Joining hands with Fatima Nafis on Tuesday were the kin of other hate crime victims, including Kavita Lankesh, sister of journalist Gauri Lankesh, who was murdered outside her home in Bangalore in 2017, as well as Shaista Parveen, wife of Jharkhand lynch mob victim Tabrez Ansari. जी हम इंसाफ चाहते हैं हम अपने शोहर के इंसाफ के लिए झारखंड से दिल्ली तक पहुंचे अभी तक हम, हम मुझे इंसाफ नहीं मिल पाया इंसाफ के लिए मैं दर दर भड़क रही हूं मुझे इंसाफ चाहिए नजीब एज अ सिंबल ऑफ फाइट अगेंस्ट एनी फॉर्म ऑफ इनजस्टिस दिस वाज द आईडिया बिहाइंड द सॉलिडैरिटी ऑफ दीस विक्टिम्स This this solidarity is important because we wanted to give out a message that this kind of normalization and celebration of violence that the regime wants to sort of uh, put out mm. by uh, giving awards to lynchers and rewarding them and welcoming them like it happened in Subodh Kumar Singh's case that people when they came out in bail they were welcomed with slogans that this is not acceptable and this normalization as citizens of this country we will not accept and all of these injustices are connected today is three years since Najib went missing today Najib is a symbol of fight against every form of injustice and injustices have only increased. So So uh, these are not isolated fights. Just like these incidents are not isolated, these fights are also not isolated. We seek to bring all these fights together. Just a night before Najib disappeared, a fight had broken out between him and a group of Akhil Bharatiya Vidyarthi Parishad or ABVP students, who subsequently became suspects in the case filed on Najib's disappearance. However, the Delhi police failed to make any headway in the case, and it was transferred to the CBI in May 2017. However, in October 2018, the CBI too filed its closure report saying it could not find any trace of Najib. So to show to the court that they have done all the things that were required for an investigation, they did it. But they did it in a way that they will shield the culprits. Secondly, when the case moved to the court and when the court demanded the call records of the accused or the sus- suspects, they said that we cannot open the, uh, the, the the lock of the phone. So it's very clear that the CBI has been so brazen in this that they are giving out a message that we are not interested in following uh, normal protocol in, in investigating the case. Fatima Nafis's eyes continue to well up every time she mentions her son but she also remains very angry. Jo log aaj yahan maujood hain unme himmat nahi hai is maa ki is bibi ki iski behan ka samna kar sake aur iska tasbuh ki bibi jo khud ek police se taluq rakhti hai jo police wale ki bibi hai batao kitni sharm ki baat hai ye police wale khade hain aur ye police wale ke liye insaaf ki awaaz buland ki ja rahi hai insaaf ko There were several other eminent personalities showing their solidarity with Fatima Nafis including noted author Arundhati Roy. Aise ek sabha mein aake ek choti si ladki ke paas main baithi hu jiska husband Tabrez peet peet ke 8 ghante ke liye peet ke mare gaye aur police case nahi darj kiya court ne bhi nahi hamare sare institutions वो सिर्फ वो लोग नहीं थे जो उनको मार रहे थे लेकिन पुलिस भी थे उनमें कोर्ट्स भी थे उनमें जो इसका जिम्मेवार है तबरेज खान वॉज किल बाई द इंस्टीट्यूशन ऑफ दिस कंट्री बट इट वॉज इन जस्ट एक्टिविस्ट हु टुक टू द रोड इन प्रोटेस्ट ऑर्डिनरी स्टूडेंट्स टू डिमांडेड टू नो वेर इज नजीब and it is not only about najib that we are standing najib is one of the many who is uh, a victim to the islamophobic government that is in place like we don't even need a lot of examples to actually commemorate how this government is deeply islamophobic recently this government has given a ticket to a person in haryana who is like the accused for shooting umar khalid The student here is referring to the Shiv Sena ticket given to Navin Dalal earlier this month.
Dalal was one of the two men accused of attempting to shoot Umar Khalid last year outside the Constitution Club. And which is why uh, gatherings like this are very important. Frankly speaking, I'm not surprised that this man was given a ticket. ये हिंदू तो वादी जो ताकत है उनकी संस्कृति को दिखाता है. Najib's mother, Fatima Nafis, along with the other students and other social activists present here at the protest, tried to break away these police barricades and walk towards Amit Shah's home, who is the Union Home Minister. However, they were not allowed to do so. Ultimately, they just signed this big uh, banner, which is a message to Amit Shah, which says. Says that Amit Shah, your son has become the BCCI secretary. What about my son? That is Fatima Nafis's message to Amit Shah. However, as 15th October marks three years since Najib Ahmed went missing, the Delhi police, the CBI, as well as other institutions seem to have given up hope entirely. But his mother says she will continue to persist. Reporting for the print, this is Fatima Khan. Do subscribe to our YouTube channel.